Hello everyone, hope you are well. On this Wednesday night, it is October the 16th and I'm late getting a video done. Work has kept me busy and come home, you get busy and I need to do a video. Things are happening. Whoa. Uh, prepare, are you prepared for November? Because things are moving every day on this thing. I'm gonna go over some things. I have an excellent, excellent passage I will share with you. So stay tuned for that. It'll make you think. It'll make you think for sure. I think we need to prepare for November, not just in the way we've been talking about, of course, spiritual, your provisions, your water, your medical and all that. I believe that we need to prepare also mentally, mentally. And what I mean by that is kind of mentally prepare ourselves to see and hear things that we are not used to seeing here in the United States, or North America for that matter. I believe they are going to, in all indications, in my opinion, uh, they're going to try, I'm trying to word this in a way, uh, but I think you'll know what I mean. Uh, I think they're going to try a, a similar repeat to 2020. I really do. And hey, it worked in 2020. Why not try it again? I mean, they've tried other things on the man. They've tried lawsuits. Uh, they've tried to bankrupt him. They tried to put him in jail. None of that worked. Uh, they've tr also tried to take him out three times now. That hasn't worked. By the way, they're not going to stop trying. You do understand this. Even if the man gets in there and is inaugurated, they will not stop trying. You can bank on that. Also, this DOD, Department of Defense, directive that came out yesterday that everybody's talking about as well which authorizes uh, the possibility of the U.S. military assisting assisting local law enforcement at their request. And that includes language up to and including lethal force on American citizens. Also, I didn't mention this last night, but also authorizes the use of unmanned drones against you and me. How about that? I'm going to talk about desperate. I'm going to talk about a little concerned. I believe that they're setting things up. I believe that, uh, I believe that they, uh, they know they're in a bit of trouble in this election and, uh, they have to pull out all the stops and they're going to try the C H E A T and at the same time, they're preparing for the repercussions of that because this time is going to be a little bit, a little bit different, a little bit different than the last time, 2020, you know, that day after the fifth of the first month. Uh, they're preparing for that with this part of it is this DOD director. Um, and make no mistake, make no mistake, the military by and large will follow orders, I believe. Now, hey, I could be wrong. I could be wrong on that. Now, I'm not saying all of them. I, I think there are a, a good number of military that would say, no, I'm not going to, uh, uh, I'm not going to target citizens. You know, however, however, uh, don't just believe that it won't happen. If we get that far, we need to be prepared. Um, and prepared, like I said, mentally to see, hear things. I mean, really. I believe we can see that. I'm not saying it's going to happen for sure, but it is definitely possible now. Things are falling into place for this. If I were Trump, <clears throat> I know I'm not, but if I were Trump, I'd shut down. I wouldn't say hardly anything at all between now and election day, November 5th. The only thing I would say on repeat, on repeat, 
I would say, I would take that line from Reagan and say something to the effect of, are you better off now than you were four years ago? It's all about the economy, man. And I would just repeat, 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 drill it. That's all I would say. It's all about the economy because it affects everybody. No matter what color you are, no matter where you came from, no matter what your, whatever, it's your status and economy affects us all. That's all you got to say. That's all you got to say. Uh, don't go into all this other stuff. I mean, Harris can't even articulate any kind of plan because there is no plan. There is no plan that she, there's a plan, I'm sure, by somebody back in there, back in the dark rooms. But whatever it is, she can't seem to articulate. That's not good. As we know, that's not good. Um, that's what I would do if I were him, if I were advising him. Now, would he listen to that? I'm sure. You know, I, you know, he's welcome to hire me as a consultant. I don't think that's going to happen. Don't think it's going to happen. But I would be glad to try. I would. I would. But uh, let's prepare always possible, always that we can possible for this. Um, but but especially mentally is what I'm really focusing on here. Vote early. Vote early. Uh, also, Georgia, you know it, huge battleground state. A Georgia judge struck down, struck down several election, recently passed election rules by the state election board. Fulton County judge ruled illegal and unconstitutional and void. Now, the big one was requirement for all ballots to be hand counted by three county election officials to ensure that the numbers match to what the machine tabulated count is. Sounds like it makes sense to me. They're saying, oh no, you can't do that at this time. Uh, you know, we can't just throw that on them now. Okay. I mean, what does that tell you? What does that tell you? I'll let you say in the comments. Also blocked was uh, a new signature um, and photo ID requirements for people dropping off absentee ballots for others. Now, it's like, you know, what, what's a legal vote? What, what, what is an election? You know, what, what are the hours? You know, from what I remember, and I've been on this earth for a while and in this country a while, it's from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. You have to prove that you are a citizen and that you're eligible, that you're registered to vote. That's a vote. Seems to be a little cloudy. A lot cloudy. So that's going on. So what does all this tell us? Back to what I said at the beginning. Could we see a situation where it's very similar to the last time? I believe so. Like I said, I believe the reaction could well be very, very different. It may not. It may not. Uh, you know, but Let's prepare. I would also recommend, I would highly, highly recommend that if you can, if you work, if you still work, uh, try to schedule some days off before and after the 5th of November. Um, Mrs. Dog definitely has done that. I'm not going to do that, but I, maybe I should have. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. But I, I, I would highly highly recommend it. I know in my job, I have to, to really give more notice. Uh, and I just haven't done that. But, um, but, but if you can, if you still have time at your job, I, especially if you're in a big city, you know, uh, a lot of my work is not in a big city. Uh, uh, you know, so I, I'm not super concerned, but then again, we just don't know. 
But if you're in a large city, I would definitely try to plan for this. Okay. Try to plan to hunker down, stay in place and just be watchful and prepared. Okay. I'm going to go to a passage because I've been looking forward to, to, to reading this one. It is, and somebody had recommended, somebody had said this in the, um, I believe in the comments of the last, one of the last several videos I've done, uh, Amos, Amos chapter five, verses 13 through 15. I think they may have cited one verse, but you know me, I can't say one verse. I, I have to, I have to do a few more. So Amos chapter five, verse 13 and 13 through 15 says, therefore the prudent keep quiet in such times for the times are evil. Seek good, not evil, that you may live. Then the Lord God Almighty will be with you just as you say he is. Hate evil, love good. Maintain justice in the courts. Perhaps the Lord God Almighty will have mercy on the remnant of Joseph. Amen. Amen. Let's keep praying. It is powerful. We know the power of it. Let's be safe. Let's be careful out there. Let's stay close to Jesus more than ever. God bless you. I will see you soon.